Hi, everybody. I'm Linda Bell Reed, and I'm so excited to be with everybody tonight. And I just, I, I am so proud of all these artists and all this work. Isn't it just gorgeous? Um, so I have been painting for about 14 years, I guess. I was, I was mid-career in a corporate career. I was anticipating my retirement years and I thought you know I really need to find something that just lights me up and makes me excited and so I started delving into mixed media art and it has changed my life in ways I can't even explain to everybody it gives me an opportunity to express who I am what I love what makes me feel good what makes me feel not so good <laughs> And it's really um, just the best gift I've ever received. So this, I'm a mixed media artist and like it, almost everybody else on this call, I think. And, and that simply means that we come to the easel and we have all kinds of um, choices that we can make. We can paint in acrylic, we can paint in oil, we can do mark making, we can use brushes, we can use collage, and it just keeps us totally unrestricted. So my main, um, typically I paint an acrylic as a base and then I add all kinds of things to it. This is a, this piece, which is called And Then This, uh, is a great example of a mixed media piece that was started purely intuitively. I had no intention of painting flowers in a vase. Um, and it has many layers on it. Underneath it is um, all just mark making, all different layers of paint. You'll see that there's collage paper in there. Some of the papers hand painted, some of the papers vintage. Um, and as I began working on it, these flowers emerged and I decided to let them, you know, just come right on out and, and present themselves. So this is my first one. It is on a panel board. I like working on, on wood on a hard surface because you can scrape back, you can sand, you can, put the paint on, take the paint off. Um, so it's really fun to work on, but it's not the only substrate I use. This next one is probably the most representative piece and what I'm gonna show you tonight. And when I first started painting, um, I was in my mid fifties when I first started painting and I decided, okay, obviously what I need to do is I need to look at things and I need to try to paint them and draw them. And it was purely representational. And I did that for a long time and it was really important to build um, my skill set. It was an important part of the process. But at some point I said, you know, this, this feels flat, this painting, these paintings don't have any feeling in them. And so I decided to start delving into non, more non-representational abstract art. So this is probably the last kind of representational piece that I did. And I actually, in this case, arranged the flowers in a vase and then painted them. This is a piece that also has a lot of different media in it. It's basically acrylic. It's um, also got charcoal. It has uh, graphite. It has um, wax pastels and soft pastels. So lots of different mediums. Uh, it is representative of the land that I live on. I live on a really big farm in North Florida, part of which is kind of pastured and like a ranch. And the other part of it is wild and woolly. And I'm fortunate that I get to just kind of stroll around the land every day when I'm walking. And then part on, on the wild and woolly part of the property, there are a lot of vines and standing pines and wildflowers that grow up through it. And this piece is just the way I feel when I look into the woods and see the beauty that you know nature provides to us. And it's called Entwined. You're getting some nice comments on the chat, Linda, about oh, how stunning you. this piece is. I was going to say this is my favorite. Oh, yeah. thank favorite. you. It's such a beautiful piece. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And then this one is called No Looking Back. And one of the things I'm trying to do with my practice is become more um, expressive, more free in my brush strokes and my mark making. This is the, one of the most recent paintings that I've done. 
it is almost all acrylic. It's on a 30 by 30 canvas. So it's, for me, it's kind of large, um, but I just love the way it evolved. Um, and I love the feeling of it. I never paint with pastel -y or bright pinks and blues. I'm just not a pink and blue kind of person. But I thought when I started this piece, let me try something different. Let me push myself. You know, art is all about pushing the envelope, always challenging yourself to go further and learn more. So I thought, well, let me try pinks and blues. And then I started adding some neutrals and I was just very happy with how it turned out. So it's a great, to me, it's a great statement on don't stay in your comfort zone, push yourself outside just a little bit because more than likely you'll like what happens. <laughs> This piece is called Sanctuary and it's, I call it my pandemic piece because I did paint it during the pandemic. And I told you I live on a farm and that farm um, and wildlife refuge that I live on provided us a type of sanctuary during the pandemic when so many people were having to be, you know, locked up in solitude and that type of thing. And we had this beautiful farm to roam around on. So the back layers of this painting represent all of the, um, wild forest that's on our property, um, all the plant life. And then as I was painting it, I was really trying to express the appreciation I have for this property. And so I started to, this globe kind of feeling started to come out and that's where the sphere came from. On the front of our property, as you're coming in, there's a big iron gate that has parallel bars on it. And of course the name of our farm and everything. And so the, the stripes in it are representative of how protected I felt on this property during the pandemic. And so that's why it's named Sanctuary. And it's acrylic, but it also has graphite. You'll notice a lot of the dark marks are made with graphite, charcoal, wax pastels. This one is one of my newest ones. It's called Wild One, and obviously you can see why. <laughs> um, but I love the feeling of it. I love that it's expressive and that it's not purely representational, but that it um, is happy and has happy colors. Interestingly enough, I only used um, about four colors in this whole painting, but I mixed them all together and got the combination of colors that you see here. And that's a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing that. 